Project management is one of these ridiculously large topics. There are full-time jobs dedicated to it, certifications to receive, textbooks written about project management. We're not going to talk about any of that. Instead, we're going to simply address the fact that being a freelancer, being a solo business owner or operator means that we are involved in project management, whether we like it or not. In light of this, we're going to walk through a Notion template that lets you create and track projects, link them to any actions that are going on in your business and filter through a timeline view and archive any that are no longer active. If you've got the objectives, actions and key projects stack, this is what the home dashboard will look like. You can, you can view your projects and campaigns directly with this timeline view. If not, you can also take the projects and campaigns block from this video and add it to your workspace, set it up however, however you like. But we're going to navigate into the main projects and campaigns page. And from here, we're going to create a new project and add it to the database. So if you saw our last video uh, covering objectives, how to set objectives in this database, you'll remember we were talking about the objective, which was 2,500 monthly website visitors. Let's create a project for that objective now. So there are a few ways we can create it. We can add directly to the timeline, which might be a nice way to, uh, to visualize when we want to get started with this project or we can add it from this side table here. So let's say I wanted to get started on this project from beginning of next week. Once I add it to the timeline, I can drag the, the end date to whatever is most appropriate for this project, let's say a couple of weeks, and I can click in to add more details. So we're gonna call this project SEO Foundations. And the objective for this project, the reason that we're doing it is to reach our target of 2,500 monthly website visitors. The area for this, we could link as marketing. And if we wanted to have a link to an app or a tool that we're using that was most relevant for this project, we could add it here. So the next step while setting up this project will be to link it to some related actions. Now the actions database is a separate page, a separate block, which we, you can also add, and then you'll be able to reference it in this system. We already have it set up. So I'm going to look through these actions and they're, they're okay, there actually are a couple that are relevant for this, but let's say that I wanted to add a new action. I can do it directly from this view inside of the project, or I can navigate to the actions database, add it here, and then link it to the relevant project. So for now, however, we're going to simply link it to this existing action in the database. We're going to add some tools that might be relevant. So for our SEO, maybe we're going to use Ahrefs. We might use our uh, website builder or provider. We might use Google Analytics to track our monthly visitors. And these are going to show uh, as related to this project. Lastly, we have a progress bar, which is going to track the number of tasks that have been completed toward this project. So again, we'll go into more details in the video covering the actions database. But for now, if I were to navigate to this action, which is going to be in my home dashboard if you have the full stack, or if you're just working with the actions database, you'll be able to find it from this page. So we've just created this action or task called do some keyword research. If I mark this as complete, I can return back to our project, our newly added project, which is SEO foundations. And you'll see that the progress bar has gone to 100%. So this is simply rolling up and collecting how many actions have been checked as complete of the total number of tasks that are linked to this project. I'll also mention that there's a project template which has been pre-built into this block. If you hit this button, it will preload with some, uh, a, a bit of a framework to help you 
get organized for this particular project with some objectives, a purpose statement, any planning, timeline, budget, research, and key actions. The, when you're first kind of scoping out the project itself and you don't want to actually create these actions in the database directly, you have a bit of a workspace here to, to get planning. The last thing to mention is that we can archive any projects that have been completed or are no longer active by simply checking the archive button from our projects and campaigns view. What this will do is it will remove it from our timeline view, which can be quite important once we add quite a few projects over time, you'll see that this database fills up and it can be quite noisy to see exactly what's active, what's not active. Anything that is that we would like to archive, we can do so from this view here simply by checking the relevant boxes and it will automatically move these projects into an archive view, which you can access from this top left corner by navigating to archive projects. These are all untitled and rather uninteresting but hopefully you get the idea. So the three steps for this particular template are to create and add a project to your database, link them to the relevant actions in your business. And third, you can filter and archive projects quickly directly from the project's timeline view.